Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the power of discipline. What separates those who achieve extraordinary success and those who fail? Well, the answer is discipline. Discipline is doing those things that you don't feel like doing. We all get lazy and want to give up sometimes, but those who reach greatness are those who push the limits of their mind and comfort zone. Success is reserved for those who choose to do the things that they need to do, even when they don't feel like doing it because they know their future self will thank them for it. Greatness isn't achieved by being lazy or mediocre. It's achieved by having the discipline and grit to push through obstacles and failures, even when it feels uncomfortable or you're not in the mood. By training your mind to push through laziness or inertia, this is when we begin to manifest and attract the life that we truly desire. The moment we begin to train our mind to have discipline is the moment our life changes for the better. As Jim Ron quotes, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. Have you ever had any experiences with racism and how did you deal with it? I've been harassed in stores, I've been watched really? in stores. I mean, it's, it's, it's the reality of everyday life. What does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. Natural sweetener, flavor all. 20 flavors to choose from. The perfect substitute for sugar and artificial sweeteners. Flavor all by Greenish. Flavor all from Greenish. Now available at Rexall Pharmacies. Next up on the show, we have Matthew Cuesta. Matthew created a global movement called 46 for George, honoring the life of George Floyd. Each day for 46 days, he rides 46 kilometers to bring awareness to racism and equality. Matthew, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm good, Daryl. Thanks for having me. Fun fact, guys, me and Matthew went to college together. So it's really, really good having you on the show. I, first of all, I want to commend you for 46 for George. It's an amazing initiative. Let's talk about when was your aha moment when you decided you were going to make this happen? Yeah, it was. Uh, it came on a whim. I went to go uh, pick up my girlfriend from work and I told her, you know, I'm going to ride 46 kilometers every day for 46 days. And yeah. it just it just came to me. There was no uh, real like planning behind it. It just came to me and I decided to go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes a great level of discipline to wake up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Where does that level of discipline come from? 
it's always been in me. When I always get into something, I just want to go hard, go and focus on it, and and just do it. And with 46 for George hitting so close to not close to home, but close to home with me, um, it, it's really driving me to to pursue it and just keep going hard. Mm -hmm. And you know, as I mentioned, we went to college together for our viewers, and. You know, I've seen you have a body transformation. Um, you've definitely yeah. went on this journey. Do you think that kind of contributed to your discipline going through a milestone like that and having to be so focused? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Losing weight, gaining weight is uh, it's not easy, especially losing it. It's kind of it's easier to gain it, but losing it is very hard. So, you know, the discipline it takes to do that is definitely being applied to getting up every every morning at four and five and riding. Uh, 46 kilometers um, and I attribute that you know getting uncomfortable you know physically to lose weight to get healthy you have to get uncomfortable you have to pass a threshold and I attribute that to the mental space as well in order to uh, create any change um, society in society within your own mind you have to go past a, a threshold to get better yeah definitely definitely um, what's been your favorite part about embarking on this journey so far? The conversations I'm having, um, it's changing minds. People are telling me that they're, you know, reaching out to family that they didn't even know they had. Um, one lady in particular comes to mind where she discovered she had indigenous roots um, and she's discovering that side of her family and understanding the problems and challenges they are having um, that she never even knew existed. So, you know, changing minds one person at a time is probably the, the greatest thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, you're biracial. Have you ever had any experiences with racism and how did you deal with it? Yeah, I mean, um, I've, I've said this story before. I've been pulled over by the OPP. I was, my car was searched. I was on the side of the 401 um, for apparently being on my cell phone, which I wasn't. And I was told to, to leave after. I was not given a ticket, not charged with anything. Mm -hmm. I've been harassed in stores. I've been watched really? in stores. I mean, it's 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 the reality of everyday life uh, growing up with a different skin tone. Um, and that's why I kind of want to, you know, bring it to the forefront and have people realize that, you know, one second or a couple minutes that someone might say to somebody uh, a racial slur or a jab or, you know, physically, you know, doing something to somebody might be only five minutes for that person, but could like last a lifetime for the person on the receiving end. Definitely. And what is your goal with a 46 for George? You know, the goal is to change change minds one at a time. Um, at the end of it, um, the goal is to probably start a, start a foundation mm -hmm. um, and continue the conversation after on day 47. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this has kind of become a global movement. Let's talk about some of the feedback you've had from around the world. I know people are joining you. Yeah, I mean, on the, I organized a solidarity ride a couple weeks ago um, and they were riding with us in Albania. Mm -hmm. um, I've received messages from the UK, from Africa. They're riding with us in the States and across Canada. So the the message is spreading globally. Um, and that's amazing to me. Yeah. And of course, this is going to be part of your legacy. What do you want people to remember um, you by and this whole initiative 20 years from now? Um, not not really remember me, but remember to, 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 you know, spark conversation and to have understanding and patience when speaking with somebody. Um, and try to learn as much as you can. We're all going through different challenges. We're all going through different things in our lives at any given moment. So try to be patient and understand um, what, what everyone's going through. And, you know, together we can build gaps, uh, build bridges um, over those gaps that we have. Mm -hmm. And as you said, you know, spark the conversation. What kind of conversations have you been having with people? Have people shared kind of on um with racism have people shared their experiences with you and what, what's been their feedback yeah i mean on the rides um people come come with me in the ride and we talk in the morning and you know they're they're reflecting on themselves uh, mainly um cycling is a very white sport um and people are riding with me and saying i didn't know i had privilege and you know help me understand and you know anything i can do to help um better myself so it's not it's not necessarily people talking about their racial experiences, but people 
reflecting on the pri privilege they've had and trying to do better. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure this has been a very exhausting journey for you, of course. This is, uh, you know, waking up at 4 a.m. How far are you into your journey now and what do you plan to do after this? Yeah, today's day 34. Oh, wow. Uh, so I got 12 days left. Um, after day 47, probably going to take a nap <laughs> and uh, hopefully start a foundation somehow. So that's in the works. I got to see how, see how that goes. Mm -hmm. And where can people connect with you on social media and as well support the 46 for George initiative? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at uh, K-W-E-S-T-U-H um, or on Facebook, Matthew Cuesta. All right. Thank you so much, Matthew. And congratulations on all your success with this and, you know, bringing this to the forefront. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye. All right. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.